Hi everybody, Laura here. I'm glad you're joining me. In this video, I wanted to show you how I make my little popped up panels, these little mini panels. This one's a circle. I've done some that are square and rectangle, but they line up with the background and it's kind of like, it's kind of like this cool little focal, popped up focal point that you make. So it's really simple. I've had a lot of people ask me, how do you do that? How do you line it up? Well, here's how I does it. Okay, so I went ahead and used this landscape trio die and I cut a big snowy hill that's gonna go on my card base, just like that. Now, I went ahead and pre-cut a circle. These are just some nesting circle dies that I have. And I picked a size, so kind of like what I wanted. And then I went ahead and pre-cut, die cut another one using that same exact landscape trio die. I'm gonna place that on top of my circle, line it up so that it matches up with the existing snowy hill. Put my circle die over top, and then we're gonna just hold that down with a little post-it tape. And I'll die cut the circle into this snowy hill. And you'll see when we're all said and done, that um, this will help us to get our little popped up focal point to match up perfectly in the end. So there you go. All you need is that little part right there. And that's going to be adhered onto that circle. So it's super simple to do that part. Now we're going to move on to stamping our images. I am going to take these adorable little birdies from the Love Quote stamp set. I've always loved these birdies. and um, But today I'm turning them into, oh yeah, penguins. Yes, the birds are becoming penguins. I've always thought that these birds are a little ambiguous. Everybody in our family thought they could be different things. And um, I actually was, uh, I wasn't sure what they were in the beginning, but then I found out they were birds. So, but today they're penguins. And I'm taking the Ar Arctic penguin stamp set and I'm going to use those little cute little hats to put on my little birdies. So this is going to be really fun. So we're turning our little love quotes into Christmas penguins. And now I'll take the coordinating dies that go with the love quotes and then also the coordinating dies that go with the Arctic penguin hats. And then I'll run this through my big shot and we'll move on to coloring. Probably would have been easier if I would have colored it now, but you know me, I don't like to do anything easy. I like to go the hard way. So I die cut first and now I have these tiny little things I'm trying to hold and color at the same time and um, would have been easier to color it first. So I'm just doing some very, very simple Copic coloring. I fast forwarded this so uh, we can zip through this part because it's just real simple. And um, I thought I was going to color that stocking cap blue, but I decided, no, I'm going to do red and green. Hello, holidays. So we're going to keep with the holiday theme there. So really simple shading with the Copic marking. And um, a lot of people ask me, how do you do these focal panels? How do you line them up? And uh, I don't know where the idea came from, but it kind of just because, you know, the Arctic penguins were kind of small little images. And so are these little love quote birds. So they're small. And when you try to put them on a big, you know, standard size card, sometimes they can get lost in all that space. So when you scale it down and make a little focal panel, it, you know, keeps your images in proportion and, and gives them just the right amount of space. So you got a small, I, I'm not, I don't know if I'm making any sense at all right now, but it seems to be more pleasing when you put small little images on a smaller area. And that's how this little popped up panel thing came to be. It came to be because I was looking for a way to put small images on a standard size card and make it work design wise. So there you have it. Now we're just about done coloring our penguins. I'm adding a little cool shadow to white. Whenever I'm doing white, like snowmen or penguins, and I want to add a little bit of shading, I usually use that cool shadow color. And um, then now, uh, got to add the rosy cheeks. I mean, you got to add the rosy cheeks. And then we'll just finish coloring off the beaks and the little feet. Do you call them fins? Is that what they are? Fins or feet or flappers? I don't know what they are. Okay, so whatever the case, we're moving on and we're gonna adhere our little hats to these cute little penguins, just putting a dot of Tombow Mono Adhesive. That's all you need and we're finished with that. We'll go ahead and move on to our card base. Now I've got my snowy hill. I just slid that down just a smidgen and I'm taking my pencil to trace that so I know where that is. And then I'm gonna go in my little mini ink blender and this is the Winter Pigment Ink by Mama Elephant. Gorgeous, subtle blue color that's great for making a little subtle sky in the back. 
And um, I've probably done this on just about every single one of my Mama Elephant cards this month, made a subtle blue sky. It seems to go well with the winter and the Arctic and the penguins and the Christmas the holiday thing. Yeah, I've done a lot of subtle blue inking. So this winter uh, pigment ink is great for that. And now we'll just go ahead and glue on that little snowy hill onto that circle panel. This is going to be our focal right here where our penguins will go. And that will line up. And now we'll take our big snowy panel and we'll adhere that just with some um, tape runner. This is Tombow, my favorite tape runner. And then we'll adhere that down. And then we'll take some foam tape and put it on the back of that circle because we're going to pop that up. This is called a popped up focal panel. Got that? Popped up focal panel. Yes. Maybe I should make that an abbreviation. Okay, so, uh, okay, here we go. Put that on, line it up so it matches up just perfectly. And then we'll pop up our little penguins. A lot of peas, a lot of popping, a lot of panels, a lot of penguins, and a lot of uh, just... Yeah, a lot of insanity is what I'm talking about right here. Okay, so now we're moving on to stamping our sentiment. I am using the new Jolly and Mary stamp set and this gorgeous font, Mary and Jolly, just so pretty. And then it coordinates with the all these sentiments that go along with it. So you can make it say a lot of different things. I'm doing Let's Be Merry. And then I took some of these tiny little heart die cuts. These came from the confetti die uh, is by mama elephant and it die cuts stars and hearts and little like sequin looking images and i just took a couple of tiny little hearts and gluing them on just to you know show the love that the penguins are feeling and just to add a little something something got to top it off with little glossy accents i always love to put glossy accents on there and um you know, sometimes when you're putting glossy accents on, it's hard to get it to go right to the edge. And especially with that little, you know, crevice in the top of the heart, sometimes the glossy accents will bubble over. So what I do is take a little pin there, kind of drag it down and just manipulate those glossy accents to make it go exactly where I want it. Little trick of the trade. So that's it. That's our little popped up focal panel for you. You see how easy that was to do. And I hope you give it a try. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.